going on guys back at the new log cabin actually first time i've been here since uh, i dropped the windows off in the winter and uh yeah it was a tough beat getting here on quad i should have took the canoe across the pond but i had a bit of gear to uh, carry so so i took the quad but very muddy and got stuck a couple times but we got here anyway windows made it through the winter they look okay Luke is doing some exploring, probably going to piss up those windows right away. As you can see, the cabin has settled quite a bit on this corner, so. But yeah, I figured I'd get in here this rotation. You know, while I was uh, on days off here, I got I to gotta go again in a couple days, but I uh, made the trip in here today to have a look around and stuff and, uh, you know, have a little campfire afterwards and... Uh, warm up some leftover supper from yesterday and uh, yeah we'll see if we can get this floor at least leveled up and who knows we might even get a couple of logs put on here though the ones that are pre-cut you know Yeah, it's all pretty messed up actually. None of it's really level, so we'll, uh, you know, it's because I, I put the floor in place while the ground was still frozen, eh? That was, that was the first mistake, but kind of rushed it along a little bit too. Um, yeah, no more schedules for me, you know what I mean? Like, I can only do this stuff when I actually have time, you know? I can't force it and I can't rush it. I just gotta, just gotta go with it. Uh, you know, I don't know what's going on in the future with with kids' sports or with work and things like that. So, there'll be no more schedules. Just do it when I can do it, you know? Hello. Shovel, buddy. Check, buddy. Check,
blueberries are starting to get ripe. Not completely, but... Okay, we got a little pile of rocks there to use for shims to level everything up. But uh, I skipped the breakfast, so I'm going to get a fire going here and I'm going to have my lunch and stuff before I do anything else. Because I am starved. Lukey! Lukey! What are you doing over there? Come on, bud. I got a steak for you. Come on! Come get it, boy. Still got my sheath from Joe's Neon. Joe's Neon sent me this a few years ago. Got my initials plus my initials of my YouTube, 13P. Pretty awesome, eh? Joe, buddy, we miss you on the tube, man. Haven't seen you in a while. Pretty good handiwork right there. Lukey's over there, listening to the loon, looking down toward the pond. It's probably way too much spaghetti for what I need, but... Got a small steak on there for Luke. Really have to cook it much for him. Oh yeah. Definitely got way too much spaghetti, but... Garlic bread, Texas toast, let's go. Leftover from supper last night. Don't waste anything. I had to burn up my garlic bread. <laughs> oh boy. That's what happens when you're messing with the camera. Messing with the camera instead of the supper. It's not the first thing I've burned up since I've been a YouTuber.
got your steak eat, buddy? Did you eat your steak? You got one piece left. There we go. It's a little better. A lot better, actually. Okay, guys, I'm going to enjoy my spaghetti here, and then we'll get back to work. So got her all leveled up, rocks and stuff, dug down to the to the rock, you know, dug all the moss and, and tree roots and stuff out. So she's pretty sturdy right now, although I am going to, I am going to add some more support, some uh, cross braces and stuff. But for now, she's uh, level again, nice and solid. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to stack the first row of logs that's already pre-cut and, and and uh, saddled and hopefully they didn't dry too much where they won't fit properly you know but uh, yeah we'll give it a try see what happens here already got some rot in this one as it wasn't protected so I'll lay it here for now but it's definitely going to be replaced 100% Go get that squirrel, boy.
seen a few carpenter ant holes, believe it or not. So, I'm going to bring some spray, some foam spray. So I can spray in those holes that I suspect might have carpenter ants. So we'll get those taken care of right away before they take over. Because that would suck. But I'm happy with this little bit of progress today. You know, getting the floor leveled up was a big priority. I wanted to do it before the frost got in the ground, you know. Because that's where I made the mistake before, right? But we should be good to go now. Go back to work in a couple of days and uh, I'll be on for 20 days and then off for 10. Well, really, really I'll be home for 8 because I have to travel on two of my uh, off days. So I travel home on my first day off and I don't get home until 9.30 or 10.30 at night. And then I travel back on my last day off. Pretty much all day travel before I get to camp. So I'll have eight days at home next time but um i think moose hunting season will be started so i'll be moose hunting my next days off but who knows i might get a couple days in here too i could probably you know hunt in the morning come here in the afternoon and then hunt again in the evening but we'll see what's up still have to cut some more logs but i have a bunch there i need to peel and I still have two or three or four that are already already notched out, ready to go. Just lay on top of here. and Yeah, we'll get her going here now. Just a tiny cabin, man. This is all I need for here, you know? Just a little, little cozy spot. Unfortunately, I won't get to uh, go trout fishing anymore until ice fishing season. Because uh, when I go on my next days off... Uh, the season will be closed for trout, for inland trout. So, so yeah, thanks to everybody who, who uh, watched the last video too, the cabin tour, my other cabin there, where I uh, just showed around the cabin a little bit, the other log cabin. Uh, that's doing pretty well on Airbnb. Like, I mean, it's doing okay, we'll say. I had 10 or 12 guests there so far. Actually, last night we had somebody there from Paris, France, which was pretty cool. So there was a couple there with their two kids, which is pretty awesome, you know. As far as I know, I haven't had any subscribers stay there yet. But uh, I think I have nine or ten guests upcoming, so if you guys want to check it out, um, the Airbnb link is in the in the last video in the in the uh, in the uh, description and the pinned comment. Ready to go home, are you, buddy? Ah. All right, guys. Just gonna take off here now. I got a bunch of stuff to do tomorrow. I got some blood work and stuff I gotta get done before I head off to camp again. But I'll definitely be in touch. Follow me on the social media and stuff, Instagram and stuff, Facebook page, whatever. But until next time, thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate all you guys uh, sticking with me, you know, when I'm not as uh, consistent. But, uh, yeah, sh should be lots of fun this fall um, with the moose hunting and uh, building the new cabin and stuff. So thanks for uh, staying tuned, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.
state. What a mess I'm in there. Hello, buddy. You come to help me or what? 